wilderness gear. <laughs> it frightens horses. So, I'm incredibly outdoorsy. <laughs> and you'll know this mostly because my argument doesn't meander like these inside people. You understand that the outdoors, it refreshes the mind, right? It does away with mental fatigue. That was some of the most ridiculous logic. I have, she, there was something about a tit getting shot. <laughs> How do you live with yourself? See, this is what happens. You live indoors, right? And then there's a total lack of diversity of thought, diversity of landscape, everything. It's homogeneity, and it breeds mental dullness. <laughs> You're in New York City. Do you know what the average rent is in Manhattan? $3,850, right? You're going to move to the middle of everything and then hide inside. It makes no sense. You can literally live inside cheaper anywhere in the country. <laughs> if you want to live inside, go to Montana, Iowa. You can do it for like a couple hundred bucks a month. <laughs> Living inside also means that you're processing the world through a certain filter, right? You have to get your world from your media, right? And there's all these editorial hands and curators that make the media, and they end up celebrating people who spend an inordinate amount of time and energy on their physical self, on their health, on their uh, diet, right? On their, uh, well, what words did I put down for myself? <laughs> Found it. All right. <laughs> Personal styling, presentation, these kinds of things. And they, what they do is they create an unattainable standard of beauty and well-being, right? This is what happens if you live indoors. Once you go outside, you see how completely average everyone is. <laughs> Nikki was complaining about seeing beautiful thighs. I assure you, there's way more mediocrity in the world than there is excellence. Yourself of the excellence myth. Oh God, you don't even know some of the monsters I saw today. I walked from the Upper West Side to the East Village. Just potato people. It was heavenly. I felt so much better about myself. I don't need to try. Are you kidding me? Most of you idiots look like you just rolled out of bed. Look at me. German family posing for a photo souvenir with an undocumented man in an Iron Man pajama set. <laughs> Three hideously ugly children. It was wonderful for my self-esteem. I felt incredible. I can't begin to say, that's not my life. I feel wonderful. <laughs> ugly children crawling on each other to stand next to a person who hasn't showered since the Nixon administration. It's Heaven. <laughs> you know, you can't, I wouldn't find that affirmation at home. Like if I were at home, I would be watching Grey's Anatomy. Do you know what I mean? And I would be stuffing horrible food in my face and I would be hating myself for not having developed some kind of tradable skill like surgery. <laughs> or maintaining a lower than 3% body fat. Do you understand what I mean? But instead, right, I get to go outside and forgive myself, <laughs> right? It is leveling. I don't know why I wrote namaste there or not. I don't do yoga, I'm not flexible. <laughs> Just to put some other things out there, it uh, turns out that being outdoors it, uh, it reduces inflammation of the organs and creates for easier bowels. I read it online. <laughs> Which means less frequent but cleaner farts in the open air where they can't be detected. <laughs>
No blame, no shame. Sharper, more creative thinking? Uh -huh. Boosts the immune system? I will make out with the sickest person in this room. I will, lots of time. All right, don't take me any more that. I'll remember that. Improved vision? Lower stress and higher job satisfaction? I have never felt easier or better about myself than right now, and it's because I'm an outdoors person! Don't you understand? The great outdoors. What, a, what the hell else matters? <laughs> See, I would be stressed by your lack of response, but being outdoorsy means it's water off a duck's back. Do you get it? I could give two shits. I love trees. Yeah, that's it. Fuck you. Thank you so much.